Hello and welcome to this short um, video from Marine Science about the Coriolis effect. When we have to understand wind patterns and from wind patterns we lead to ocean current patterns, there is one concept that in general I have um, found it very hard for students to understand, which is the Coriolis effect. So I'll try to explain this in short detail here and um, what it means for wind patterns. If you imagine something as old-fashioned as a record player, I'm an old guy, I have a record player, um, <clears throat> but many of you might not have one. But if, if you have a record player spinning, in this case here, spinning counterclockwise, um, the speed, if you're standing here, will be seen different as if you're standing here. Because taking one round here will lead to a short distance, while taking one round here cover a larger distance. Um, if, if we were to have a rotating table and we were to launch a ball from here and we're actually aiming from here, what we will see the ball pattern wouldn't go from here to here, it would actually deflect to the other side because of the difference of movement. This is of course just for a turntable and you might see what has that to do anything marine science well let's see if this works earth itself is spinning here as a model for earth we have earth spinning at the equator the speed will be higher than here at the north pole as wind then moves up if you have a wind pattern moving and as i'll tell you later we do have that it will deflect to the side depending on whether we are on the northern or the southern hemisphere. Because of the Coriolis effect, we have our equator here, we have a pole here, north and south. Because of the Coriolis effect, because of this spinning of the Earth and the difference in speed from here to here, we do see that the wind pattern is that winds tend to get deflected towards the east here on the northern hemisphere and we'll see deflection in the other one here on the southern hemisphere. So a wind system moving from south to north will tend to deflect this way while a wind system moving from north to south will tend to deflect this way and the other way on the southern hemisphere a weather system moving from the equator south will deflect this way while going back it will deflect this way so as we'll see later this Coriolis effect lead to some very important global wind patterns which then drives the currents we see. What's important for you to know that is we in general see a deflection this way here on the northern hemisphere and the other way around on the southern hemisphere. This of course is something that pilots have to take into consideration when flying and even something as you know non-marine science and non-pacifistic as long-range shooting. You have to take the Coriolis effect into consideration as the Earth still turns while the plane or the bullet is traveling and you have to take that into consideration to hit the right airport or the right target. So this was a short introduction to the Coriolis effect. There is much more videos on YouTube where they show animations which is a good way to learn it. But just remember that the spinning of the Earth create some wind patterns that will help drive the currents we will explain later. Thank you for staying with me.